General Salad! Reset! over. May I have your permission to dismiss the guards into the guard room? Sir! Permission granted. Well done. Excellent. Sentry stand first! Remain the guards into the guard room. students are uh, ready for the closing ceremony sir may i have your permission to carry on sir yeah please please do oh sit down I will go. senior and junior officers here present course participants men of the school staff here present good morning to you all Good morning. Good morning. So we are gathered here this morning to witness the graduation ceremony of Company Commander Course 23. It is with deep sense of honor and gratitude that I make this opening remark and ask we welcome you all on behalf of the Commandant of the Gambia Armed Forces Training School. For the record, sir, the initial number of participants for this course was 20, out of which 18 reported. As of this morning, 16 out of the 18 are graduating. 
the two drop along the line due to various reasons. So, training during peacetime in any organization is a fundamental requirement and a continuous process that serves as a prerequisite for growth and success, and military is no exception. Training breeds teamwork and confidence. It also helps individuals and teams to know their strengths and weaknesses, and above all, it breeds and instills discipline. The importance of training therefore cannot be overemphasized. For according to Douglas Mercado, in no other institution are the penalties for employing untrained personnel so appalling or so irrevocable as in the military. It therefore goes with the saying that a trained soldier is a disciplined soldier, and a disciplined soldier is reliable and dependable soldier. So barely the past two months of the company commander course 23 have been very interactive and educative. The course participants would bear me witness that prior to this course, most of them have or were not opportunity to get exposed to many lessons that were taught over the period. These lessons include common procedures, tactics and techniques of, at company level, military planning and decision making process, combat estimate, battle procedures, map reading and map marking, leadership, among other key lessons. Today, they shall be living here fully equipped with the necessary skills and knowledge on the lessons taught that is required to, that is required to the executions of their functions as leaders in their respective units. So, it is worth mentioning that the training was done in phases. Phase one involved formal lectures in the classroom. Phase two involved outdoor exercises. And all this culminated to a final phase, which was field training exercise that coincided with the final field training exercise of the recruit inter 38. During this period, officers were given command appointments to test their level of understanding on command and leadership. At this juncture, sir, please allow me to implore on the course students or course participants to make best use of the knowledge gained by putting it into practice and as well sharing it among their colleagues who were not lucky to be part of this training. Always remember that as officers and leaders, the best way to be on top of your game or by living up to expectations in your execution of duties is by reading, as I always emphasize throughout the course. Read not only your notes that we are giving to you here, but also other materials that are relevant to your job. Develop the culture of reading. For this part, I shall quote no other person other than my mentor, and that is General James Mattis, who said, Thanks to my reading, I have never been caught flat footed by any situation, never at a loss for how any problem has been addressed. It doesn't give me all the answers, but it lights what is often a dark path ahead. By this code, it is evidently clear that there is nothing new under the sun, and your personal experiences alone won't be enough. Your soldiers will have problems and doubts, and you will solely be their first point of contact. So in order not to be caught flat-footed, you, will, uh, you need to be a step ahead, and you can only achieve this by continuous reading and research. In conclusion, sir, I won't do justice if I conclude this remark without thanking your Emma. Captain M.S. Jallo, who have been with us throughout the course period for his tireless efforts to making this course a success. So, sir, thank you for your tireless efforts. <laughs> Finally, on behalf of the commandant and the school staff, sir, please also the higher command of the Gambia Armed Forces that the trained school will never relent on achieving the higher command's intent, despite the daily challenges of our day-to-day -day execution of our functions. On that note, sir, I thank you all for your attention. Thank you.
अब 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 Sit down. Yes, sir. Sit down. Yes, sir. Okay.